It's about time you showed up. <sighs> Sorry. S something came up. Something always comes up. You are just like Dad. Did you bring the papers from the lawyer's office? No. Sorry, I forgot. Glenn! Sorry. They're closed for the weekend now. That is great. Sorry, I forgot. Oh. I'll do it Monday. Okay? No, you won't do it Monday because I'm going to do it. That way I know it's going to get done. Okay. okay, the estate sales next week. I have not finished going through Grandpa's things yet. I'm going to continue upstairs and you're going to go into the garage. Okay? Okay. So go. Going. Pete, are you even listening to me? Pete, I'm telling you, we can build this thing. It's old school electronics. You know how good I am at that sort of stuff. And you with your mechanical background? I know we can do this. This is gonna be easy for us. Look, I know your grandfather was involved in the Cold War. And from what I hear, he was a brilliant scientist. But everything in that journal, it's just pure theory. Think about it, Glenn. Time travel? It's not possible. But it's not just this one journal. It's dozens more just like it. Hundreds of photographs. 16 millimeter film of actual tests. I'm telling you, Pete, this thing was real and it worked. Well, then where is it? How come we've never heard of it? The whole project was top secret. They shut it down back in the 50s. And what does that tell you? It never worked. Time travel is impossible. Yeah, well, Stonewall Ferguson sure thought it was possible. And I guess there's only really one way to find out. To build it. Come on, Pete, what have you got to lose? Hey, Pete. What the hell are you building over there? Building a the time machine. Good morning. Hey. How was Puggy's hips this morning? Really good. Those new meds seem to be helping. Good.
So, Pete, are you ready to start working on that control panel this morning? Oh, and that professor from the university, he's going to be by later. Aren't you a little bit early? I don't know, am I? Oh yeah, guess I didn't need to skip breakfast after all. Oh, by the way, Brenda can't look after Puggy anymore while we're away. Her building doesn't allow dogs. It's too bad. Puggy really likes Brenda. I know. Maybe you can pass him off as some kind of weird looking cat. I don't know why I torture myself like this just to lose a few pounds. Not like George would notice. I went to that new stylist. Do you think George said anything at all? That's just how guys are, Brenda. Peter was like that once, too. I wish George were more like Pete. <laughs> he adores you, and he shows it. I mean, wildflowers, Nikki, how romantic is that? I wouldn't read too much into it. Maybe they're because he's just too cheap for store-bought flowers. <laughs> and they're probably because I haven't been able to park in my garage for the last year. Maybe you and George should do something like Peter and I have planned. Book a vacation somewhere romantic. Bermuda would be wonderful. Yeah. Uh, we never could afford it. So, Pete and Glenn are still working on their time machine? <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. What, it's been like a year now. Usually their crazy schemes run out of steam after a couple of weeks, but who knows? Maybe something practical will actually come out of it this time. <laughs> okay, or not, time machine. <laughs> Here you go, Professor. Oh. Thank you. Glenn's home specialty brew. We call it Plan B. Uh, like a home build project. Very nice. Anyway, I run the university website on quantum computing. For my next update, I thought I'd do a piece on vintage technology. So when I saw your posts on reviving old school technology, I was intrigued. See, Pete? Einstein here thinks we're on to something. Well, <laughs> Let's get started. Why do you feel that uh, the old technology is still valid? Well, we always abandon our technology before it's reached its full potential. For example? It's the electric car. A hundred years ago it was invented. This was the most popular car around. But a generation later, it's abandoned for gasoline motors. And now look at us. We're going right back and redeveloping that technology. Imagine where we'd be today if we'd never abandoned it in the first place. Possibly. Or say, time travel. At one time, a very promising new technology, now lost. Time travel? Are you serious? I'm a physicist, and I can tell you that time travel is impossible. Time travel's been done. Oh, come on. It may be possible in theory, but... Uh... Not nothing. It's been done. Ever hear of Stonewall Ferguson Manufacturing? Yes, they're a major defense contractor. One of the largest in the world, and the number one supplier of guided missiles. What does that have to do with time travel? Pretty much everything. Ever hear of the Magnetron Project? Sure, the Magnetron Project was second only to the Manhattan Project uh, during World War II. Early in the war, British scientists were able to develop a means of exploiting electromagnetic waves to gain an advantage. Yes. Radar. Radar. They built a new device that emitted a very specific frequency of these waves within an enclosed space. What you're describing is a microwave oven. My grandfather was one of the lead scientists on the project, and I can tell you the microwave was just a byproduct of their experiments. 
I mean, do you really believe a military defense contractor is going to spend all that wartime research and funding they had at their disposal just to find a better way to cook a hot dog? The first microwave machine was no oven. It was able to create a rabbit hole in time. A time machine. After my grandfather died, I found amongst his things uh, records, uh, film reels, schematics, everything we would need. So you guys are home building a time machine just like your homemade beer. It's that simple, is it? Why not? We know enough about it. In one of the films, an army private goes into the machine clean shaven. He comes out a few moments later with a full beard. In 1985, an old man claiming to be that soldier was released from Mentino State Hospital. Even after years of psychiatric care, he still believed that in those moments between going into the machine and stepping out, he lived in an alternate reality. Time travel. It's the only explanation. Or he could have just fried his brains in an oversized microwave oven. Yeah, Dan. I'm just finishing up with this radio. Well, finish it up later. I need you on the sales floor. Look, Glenn, you had a good idea in bringing vintage repairs to Discount Dance. It brings in new customers, but the real money comes from the sales floor. Dan, did you see this TV? I Glenn, got... sales floor. Let's go. Do you know if any of those guys are still alive? Uh, two. One of which lives just a couple hundred miles from here. <laughs> Man, you look like your grandfather. You just need a haircut. You know, I bet you if you went back to 1956, you could stroll right past Stonewall Ferguson Security and walk right into your grandpa's lab. Nah, the past is dead and buried. I think I'd much rather go to the future. Get myself a sports almanac, come back, bet on sporting events, make myself a tidy little fortune. Well, while you're there, do me a favor and check up on Nikki for me. Let me know if she's left me yet because of your crazy schemes. Never happen. You two are the happily ever after type. What type are you? I am a lone wolf, wild and free. Right. Yeah. Hold this for me. Damn it. It's heavy. How many of these do we need? If not Friday, how about Saturday? <laughs> Ain't gonna happen, Ronnie. Three skids out for. Just a friendly drink. Nothing wrong with that. There is if I'm not interested. What's it gonna take to thaw you out? Three skids out for. Holy, wow. We, that would be why there's a line that says yeah. do not cross? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't see that. Hi. Hi. What can I do for you? I, uh, I have a package. I'm, I'm here to pick it up. Name? Uh, Anderson. It's 
So, uh... Here you go. Thank you. Have you worked here for a long time? Jane Sutton, <laughs> warehouse manager? Only about three years, Glenn. Discount Dan. <sighs> yeah. That's a... It's, it's funny, I never saw you around here before. That would be because I used to be a brunette. I miss only notice blondes. So long as the drapes match the carpet. What carpet? I don't know. Um, uh, now, say, say this product were defective or broken somehow. This is probably the number here. That's where I could that would reach be you again. That okay. would be the number. Actually, that would be the manufacturer's number. Oh, okay. You can talk to them. Okay. Wouldn't it be simpler if I just came back here or were to call? Is there a number here or like a personal line you have? <laughs> it's just it's purely smooth. professional. It's smooth. Discount I... Dan, Glenn. Very smooth. There's a problem with this. You come back through that okay. door. Yeah, it sounds like it's rattling already, so I'm pretty sure there's like a screw loose or something. Okay. I'll probably be back in about 15 minutes. The website said dual valve. The picture was dual valve. They were putting us off or something, or someone over there screwed it up. Don't blame them. You just didn't pay enough attention to what you were ordering. Oh, maybe I missed a detail, I don't know. But the point it's is- It's just the Grade 9 Science Project all over again. Why do you bring that up every single time, all right? You know what your problem is? You're too busy chasing Strange to focus. What? What does that even mean? Look, we're none of us perfect, all right? Pete, I made a mistake. I'll fix it, okay? Yeah, but now we're gonna be three or four weeks behind schedule. You guys still need high voltage capacitors? Yeah. Carl said they were just collecting dust in his tool shed anyways. Way to go, Nikki. You can have them, but his truck could use a tune-up. Somebody's gonna get lucky tonight. Oh yeah, who's that? Time for plan B. Hey, Pete, what do you say? Back to work. Focus on the task at hey, hand. Hey, whoa, right. whoa, whoa, Edison. We've got dinner at my brother's tonight, remember? Let's go. So, first thing tomorrow morning? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll start fresh. And I'll fix the solenoid thing. I'll, I'll get it straight this time. Well, everything checks out in there. Looks like we're ready for our first test. All good here too. 30 seconds, Nikki's kitchen clock is gonna be hurtling into the past. Or the future. You're just hoping the radio EMRs don't fry the thing. Well, that's why they call it a test, Pete. Well?
love you all. So, Pete, are you ready to start working on that control panel this morning? Oh, and that professor from the university, he's going to be by later. Aren't you a little bit early? I don't know, am I? Something wrong with the clock? It's been batteries again. Oh, by the way, Brenda can't look after Puggy anymore while we're away. Her building doesn't allow dogs. It's too bad. Puggy really likes Brenda. I know. Maybe you can pass him off as some kind of weird looking cat. Well, I think you were right. I think its circuits are fried. We got a lot of work to do. Time for plan B? Yeah, time for plan B. I really thought we had it, Glenn. It's first test, you know? Yeah, but with the EMRs doing that, there's no way we're gonna put a living thing in there. No, of course not, not yet, but... We know where the problem is, right? We know the problem's the EMRs. So we know where to start looking tomorrow, you know? Start fresh. We'll get there. Today, I'll do it on my way to work. Did you put new batteries in the clock? No. And that reminds me. Next time you borrow things from my kitchen, put it back. It works. What? No. I thought we fried its circuits. Oh, the, the clock reset itself. It's keeping perfect time now. Huh. Except that it's 28 days ahead. Oh. It worked? Our time machine actually works? We'll have to run some more tests, but... It works. We're gonna be rich. How soon can we go? Okay, just hold your horses, okay? Why did the clock malfunction? I don't want to stick ourselves in there until we know why. Right. Yeah. I've got it. We can send this back. It's got the date and the month and wind up no circus to fry. It's a good idea. Genius. Yeah, we'll send back calendar clocks and then living things. Like monkeys. Monkeys? Yeah. Where the hell are you going to get a monkey? I don't know. It's a good point. Oh! Well, Glenn, looks like you don't need to worry about being stuck in the Middle Ages. All the tests show we can only go back 28 days. Why is it only 28 days? Well, it must be a law of nature or something. I mean, if you think about it, the lunar cycle is 28 days. The woman's cycle is 28 days. Most viruses have a 28-day incubation period. You know, I bet the more you look, the more you'd find. Yeah. Time travel is just tied by nature to 28 days. Yeah. Glenn. What? Yeah, 28 days, I'm listening. So, so what then? Right? What happens if we bump into ourselves? No, see, I don't think you can. You can't be in two places at once, time travel or not. I'm guessing we'll just go back 28 days to where we were. We'll merge with our bodies. All right, well, what are we waiting for, then? Well, the lab mice survived the tests. That hamster was fine. I didn't take it to the vet. It was a little sick at first, but it was fine. I say we just go for it. No, look, I agree, but what if there's a similar disorientation when we arrive in the past? We need to prepare for that. We need to go back 28 days to a time where we know it's safe. I don't want to be working on the roof or something. 
All right. Well, how about we come back to this moment? We'll leave exactly 28 days from now and come back right here. Okay, yeah. Now let's do that. It's not going to work, Glenn. Why not? We could have made almost 300 grand just off this one stock. Just one. It's simple. All we have to do is go back in time, invest in the stocks that have the biggest gains over 28 days, and we're golden. No, see, that's why it won't work. The Securities Commission would be all over us. There's no way they're going to believe that a couple of amateurs managed to pick all the right stocks. They're going to think it's insider trading. Well, they can't prove anything. We'll still get the money. Will we? See, an investigation would tie up our money for years. It's messy. If we're going to go into the past and get rich, we're going to need a better idea. You're overthinking this thing. Hey. Hi, Puggy. How are you? Glenn, are you feeding Puggy treats again? Look how skinny he is. Hey, babe, did you get the steaks? No, I'm just heading out to the store with Brenda. I'll pick them up then. Oh, if you're going to the store, I got your lottery money for this week. You don't owe us anything this week, Glenn. We won 10 bucks on the last ticket. All good. Oh, I gotta go. Bye. See you, babe. Oh, by the way, Peter, we're not investing in the stock market. Bye. Who needs the stock market? When you know the winning lottery numbers. What'd you hear about this place? Uh, Eddie told me about it. Hey man, I was thinking we should get some tattoos, you know? I was thinking like a skull with the number 13. Why? For luck. It doesn't sound like it's good luck. Yeah, man, for hundreds of years sailors have been getting that tattoo, you know, for luck. And the way I see it, we're kind of like sailing through the mists of time, you know? Let's drive. In bad mood today? Yeah, it's great. I get an extra $200 a month and three weeks vacation. <laughs> Don't forget that extra 2% sales commission from the floor. Yeah. That can really add up. Hey, why didn't you put in for the promotion? I mean, you've been here longer than anybody. Oh, I thought about it. I guess I just didn't get around to it. Got my own project up and go. Yeah? Yar, there she be, Petey. Are you ready to set sail? Doesn't look like any time machine I ever saw anyway. At least not in the movies. This is no Hollywood big budget time machine. This was built with real world Cold War time travel technology. Yeah, it makes you wonder why they shut down the program, huh? Hey boys. Time machine's finally finished. Yeah. What's this do? Uh, I that self-destruct. Well, doesn't look like any time machine I've ever seen. Try it in the net, Ronnie. You might actually get one behind me. You better watch your mouth. I'm gonna be crashing your net in the third. <laughs> right here, Ronnie. Right here. Let me go grab a smoke. Nothing left but the waiting. You feeling nervous? Me? No. Not at all. 
I mean, it's perfectly safe for human travel, right? I mean, the soldier came back in one piece. Well, he did kind of go crazy and spend the rest of his life in the nut house. Yeah, but they, they probably locked him up not for being insane. I mean, this was a top secret project. They probably had him committed because he was talking too much. You know, if you had a guy claiming to be a time traveler, what better place to hide him than a mental institution? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. At least I hope so. Do we come here to gossip or play hockey? Game on. Are you okay? Jesus, Ronnie. Oh. Do you want to try stand? Why don't you rub some dirt on it? No, I'm definitely going to need a speedboat. Not just a regular speedboat, a supercharged speedboat. With a cable on the back for water skiing. Yeah? Yeah. And get me a 67 Mustang GT500. And a Mercedes for Nikki with a pink bow. Yeah, I suppose I'm gonna need a car too. Maybe a 76 Stingray. And a Viper. And I suppose I'm gonna need a pretty big garage for all my cars. And a pretty nice mansion to go with my garage. When's my car gonna be ready, Pete? Well, it should be ready about three, Ronnie. How are you making out on those crutches? How do you think? Oh yeah, I'm gonna need a lake in front of my mansion with a dock for my new speedboat. Three, eight, 16, 17, 21, 24, 36. We have to memorize those winning numbers. It's the only way we can take them back with us. checking me out. You? He's checking me out. <laughs> you wish. Time travel is just tied by nature to 28 days. Yeah. Glenn. Ah. What? Ah. Yeah, 28 days of listening. So, so what then? Right? What happens if we bump into ourselves? No, see, I don't think you can. You can't be in two places at once, time travel or not. I'm guessing... said it's probably just food poisoning, you'll be okay. Glenn's pretty sick too, he's gonna stay at his sister's for a couple days. He 
Just relax, I'll be right here. What'd you hear about this place? Uh, Eddie told me about it. Hey man, I was thinking we should get some tattoos, you know? I was thinking like a skull with the number 13. Sailors get them for good luck, right? Yeah. No. Let's go. What is it? I don't know, I just feel like I forgot something. I know what you mean, I felt like that for days. Ever since we were sick. Remember the food poisoning? It's strange. Glenn, is the real to real ready yet? Well, no, I'm on my lunch. It'll be done at three. Okay. Three. Three? Three. Thirty-six. Three. Thirty-six. Eight. Twenty-four. Three. Thirty-six. 17, 8, 24, 21. Those numbers just popped into my head. Mine too. Why? What do they mean? I don't know. Three, eight, 17, 21. 24, 36. The winning numbers from yesterday's lottery. Oh, I still say, when we hop in the machine tonight, we'll go back another 28 days, and we'll have all the time we need to recover, get our memories back, then all we need to do is wait it out and buy our ticket. Let's hope these pills help with the nausea. Better watch your mouth. Be crashing that net in the third. <laughs> right here, Ronnie. Right here. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a smoke. It must be one of those laws of nature things. When you're already in the past, you can't use the time machine to go even further back. Yeah. Well, we know we can't leave frogs, so. I guess we'll just have to wait till the 28 days are up and then try again. Do we come here to gossip or play hockey? Are you sure you want to do this, Pete? I mean, he's such a dick. Ronnie's not that bad once you get to know him. We can prevent him from breaking his ankle, so we should. But he does break his ankle. What kind of ripple effects is that going to have on the future? Is this coming from the guy who went back in time to win the lottery? What kind of ripple effects do you think that's going to have? Yeah, but no one won that lottery. He did break his ankle. Then that doesn't make any sense. Game on. You know, Ronnie, it's, uh, it's getting late. We're gonna go. You can't go. We're down two goals. The third's our best period. Ah, come on, Pete. Let's just finish the game. Let's give Ronnie the break he deserves. If you guys bail, we win. You know what? That's fine. You win. Pussies? Let's pack it in, boys. Hey, what's going on? Why don't you go ask your girlfriends? Shut up, Ronnie. My friend, we did it. We traveled back through time, relived 28 days in a single minute. We may have missed the lottery, but our time machine works. Yeah. 
now with this time machine, we can go back and win the lottery as many times as we want. <laughs> How you feeling? Oh, brutal. Five alarm hangover. Thirsty as hell. Nothing like the arrival, though. Yeah, me too. So I should probably get rid of this rat's nest before Nikki comes home. Nah, man, you should keep it. Makes you look sophisticated. I think I'll keep mine. How are you gonna explain growing a full beard overnight? I don't know. Testosterone. I've got plenty to spare. But actually, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be ready for a few minutes. Oh, OK. OK. I get you. Suspense. Suspense. Drama. The reservation's not till 8, so we've got time. That's good. I hope you like margaritas. <laughs> I don't like margaritas at all. OK, well, we won't have any margaritas then. <laughs> no, no, no. I just had a really bad experience with Simon in Mexico. He ate the worm, and I almost threw up. And if I do that tonight, I'm going to be mortified, so. Yeah. All right, so uh, that's Simon, your brother, right? Yes, it's Simon, my brother. Right, good, good. Yeah, good. I like that It's weird, that it doesn't idea. seem like your brother. He's not really the wild type, <laughs> is he? Oh my goodness, that was before he settled down, so. Okay. I'll tell you stories. Okay, yeah, you can okay. tell, tell me about it over dinner. Okay. Okay. I'll just wait in the car. Okay. See you in a few. Hey, sweet cheeks. Here's my disability papers. Awesome. Can you take them to HR? Absolutely, Ronnie. See you in a few weeks. Thanks. Look, he's really slowing down. Well, he is 10 years old. That's practically a lifetime for him. Hey, Puggy. Packed a lot of living into a short time. Full of love and adventure. Maybe when we're old and in rocking chairs, we'll be able to say the same thing. You know, we could with a pension and a health care plan. What? I'm just saying, if you got on with a dealership, our future might be a little more secure. Hey, Nikki, we talked about this. I don't have time to upgrade my license. And besides, it doesn't matter. Once we work out the time machine, we're going to be all set. Listen to yourself. A time machine? God, I've tried to be supportive of your hobby, but now you're just draining our vacation fund to finance your stupid fantasy. Peter, you spend all of your time in the garage with Glenn. And have you even had time to fix Carl's truck like you promised? How does that make me look? And how many times have I asked you to look at the knock in my car? Peter, you have to stop with this time machine nonsense. Start planning for the real future. fun afternoon. I wasn't yeah. quite sure what to expect. Glenn's relationships are usually over before morning. <laughs> Shallow. Pete and I barely get to know the girl and then he's moved on. Maybe they were just practice. Oh, he's been practicing a long time. But that would explain why he's so smooth. <laughs> 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 when Glenn suggested the double date, I knew you must be different. What is this secret project they're working on? 
Oh God, you know boys, always building something. So you and Jean seem to have hit it off. Oh really? How so? We spent the past five minutes talking about her. Yeah, she's all right. Maybe I'll buy her something nice when we win the lottery. So you memorized the new numbers yet? It's 35 million this time. We play it out just like we did when we were leapfrogging. We'll take the anti-nausea pills. Buy the winning ticket. And we're instant millionaires. Working hard, I see. Just be ready for grocery shopping in 20 minutes. Sure, babe. In 20 minutes, she can buy the grocery store. Are you sure it's safe to go back right now? I don't want to puke all over Discount Dan's showroom. It's all here in the log. We skipped out of work early and we're working in the garage. All right. Are you ready to sail through the mists of time? I regret ever saying that to you. All right, let's do it. Give me a 67 Mustang GT500 and a Mercedes for Nikki with a pink bow. Yeah, I suppose I'm gonna need a car too. Maybe a 76 Stingray and a Viper. Ronnie, how's the ankle? It'd be better if your mugs hadn't stepped on it. <laughs> Is my car gonna be ready? I don't know. Pete's working on it. Check with him. Thanks. Charlie, you better get over here. Doctor said it's probably just food poisoning. He'll be okay. Glenn's pretty sick too. He's gonna stay at his sister's for a couple days. You just rest, I'll be right here. Two, 11, 19, 21, 26, 42. I guess so much for the log book, eh? Well, at least we know it's 28 days, give or take a few hours. I guess time travel is just like flying, complete with jet lag and the vomit bags. At least we know the return time is precise. Yes, like it. Beer nuts. Hi, guys.
umbrellas heat because there is a chance of more rain in the foothills this evening, moving east into the city overnight. That'll be clearing by early morning, though, pushing afternoon temperatures up into the high 20s. And that's your five-day forecast. Back to you, Angela. Thanks, Bruce. Sounds like a scorcher. What would you do with $35 million? When we come back, we'll talk with the three lucky winners of last night's lottery about their plans for their instant fortune. How much effort does it take to win the lottery? Everybody's having a great time. Yeah. It's awesome having the money to have a bash like this. Yeah, I know. And after we split the bill, I'll only have 16 million and change left. Maybe discount down will give you your job back. <laughs> yeah, I bought my ticket with my lucky numbers like I always do. I didn't win anything as usual. And then out of the blue, he calls me from work and says that he and Glenn bought a ticket on a hunch and that we all win the jackpot. Hey, maybe Pete's time machine worked. Oh my God. <laughs> in a few minutes, we'll rematerialize in the time machine. We'll shave, shower, and get back here. Nikki and Jane won't even notice we're missing. I wonder what happens to us here when we return to the present. We must cease to exist. We can't be in two places at once. I'm guessing the time machine needs to take us back to complete the time travel thing. <laughs> Time to rest. Meet me in the house in half an hour. And don't forget your dress clothes. Uh, a little overdressed for grocery shopping? Grocery shopping? What are you up to? Come on, Pete, we've got money to spend. Shh, what the hell's your problem? Nikki's home. What? She's acting like she doesn't know about the lottery win. <sighs> Something's wrong. Is your Viper in the garage? Yeah, that's where I left it. Have you actually seen it since we came back? No, it came straight here. It's what you told me to do. Let's go. Because I'm getting frustrated, Glenn. We need to figure this out, and soon. Nikki's really been pushing me to upgrade my license. I don't have time for this time machine business anymore. I've been through every single journal. It should be working better than this. Yeah, well, it's not. And even if your grandfather's design worked, that doesn't mean our hacked together version ever will. I just think we need some expert help. Oh, sure, yeah, we'll just grab the phone book and call the time machine repairman. Pete, if you'd let me finish, I'd tell you I found Dr. Whitecliffe. Yeah, remember? One of the scientists from the original team? Can I help you fellas? Dr. Whitecliffe? It's been a long time since anyone called me doctor, but yes, I'm Dr. Henry Whitecliffe. Ah, uh, Dr. Whitecliffe, I'm Glenn. This is Pete. 
we were hoping we could ask you a few questions about the Stonewall Ferguson project. You know, the uh, time machine? You reporters don't give up, do you? Look, it's an urban legend. Time travel is impossible, it always has been, and it always will be. So, excuse me if you don't mind. I'm Jerry Anderson's grandson. We know all about the project, and we've rebuilt your machine. There we were, at the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. And your grandfather, he goes around, takes a look under the hood, comes back and says it's the fan belt. Says he's going to need the stockings of both our dates to fix it. <laughs> well, before you know it, he needs nearly every stitch of clothing on these girls to keep that old Ford going. Was that Grandma? Grandma? Hell no, she wouldn't fall for that. But I'll tell you, that's what kept him interested. They didn't meet until grad school, and at that time, your grandfather was just a good time Charlie. But when he laid eyes on her, he was hooked. Dr. Whitecliffe, about our project, as Glenn mentioned, we've successfully traveled back in time, but we can't make the changes we make stick. Any thoughts? Yeah, I have a thought. You're about $350 million short of traveling through time. Little to the left. I know it's a little bare bones, but our time machine works. Bare bones? I'm not saying time travel's possible, but it took Stonewall Ferguson, a team of physicists specializing in unified field theory, and an entire Department of Defense just to attempt it. No, no, you two fellows have a long way to go before you reach bare bones. Chin up a bit. But our machine works. Like, we rebuilt it exactly from my grandfather's journal and these documents here. We just can't change the future. The past. No, the future. You know, these, these documents shouldn't exist. I remember the day that the Office of Scientific Intelligence came in and locked down the lab. They confiscated all our private records. In fact, it was just after Lieutenant Cahill came back from the pass for the final time. There were these armed agents that searched us, escorted us off the complex. And then when we came back the next day, everything had gone. Within a week, we were all reassigned, and the project, well, it was officially forgotten. Wilkinson, our first guinea pig, poor fella. In fact, it was after Wilkinson we realized that we had to limit each new volunteer to three trips into the past. Health risk, you know. So that all went out the window when the OSI took over the project. They had their own man, Lieutenant Cahill. Black Ops, very hush hush. God, we must have sent him back a hundred times. Cahill was losing his mind. I remember Doc Anderson wanted to pull him from the project. But oh no, the OSI insisted that we keep sending him back. So we did. Fellas, these documents only cover the very earliest design. I mean, it's like you're trying to go to the moon in a cardboard rocket. In fact, you two fellas are very lucky that you're still alive. That was a waste of time. It's not a waste of time. You got a nice picture, I think he's gonna love that. I got some family history. Fellas, yeah. welding goggles. What? what? It's the EM light that causes the Nausea. So get yourself some welding goggles. Welding goggles? Yeah, you know. Bare bones. Thank you, Doctor. See? Well, think about it, Glenn. It makes sense. The light from the electromagnetic energy can cause the sickness. The same way that flashing lights can cause seizures. Maybe if we wear these, we'll get a smoother ride. That sounds good. Pete, have a look at something for me, all right? Every design sketch, 
Every schematic I look at always shows this machine with one plate. We've been splitting up our electromagnetic waves between two plates. What if time is resetting itself because there's just not enough juice to make the changes stick? We could remove one of the plates and travel back separately. Maybe then the changes would stick. I think it's worth a try. I mean, none of the films showed two subjects traveling on the same trip. I guess we'd just arrive one after the other? I'm all right with that, if you are. I don't know if I trust you, I'm going first. Yeah, well, we'll flip for it. No, I'm going first. Said we'll flip for it. Ha! You're going first. According to the logbook, this time 28 days ago, we were kicking in the new carpet at your place. Even taking into account the time variance, we should be totally safe. Cool. This time I'm gonna videotape every move we make. Wait a minute, how's that gonna work? You're not gonna have the camera with you when we arrive. No, but it'll be where it was 28 days ago, in the bedroom closet. The camera's with us in the time machine, then maybe what we record will still be on the tape when we return. Gotcha. All right, all right. You ready? Pete, are you all right? What's going on? Oh, just a cramp. Are you sure? Maybe we should finish the carpet another day. Eh? I'll take you home. I'll be fine. No, yeah, let's let's get you home. Come on. him. I really miss him. Remember, April, there are two sides to this life. This temporary side and the side where we find everlasting fulfillment. Thank you, Reverend. I'm sure Glenn is around here watching us today. <laughs> Knowing my brother, he probably have some smart-ass comment to say about how serious this is. Oh, I am sorry. I am sorry. It's quite all right. I'm sure you're right. It's all my fault. Glenn counted on me and I let him down. Pete, it's not your fault. Let it go. You can't change the past. was beautiful. The music really suited Glenn, and the flowers were awesome. You don't think that they were too much? No. no they were perfect. Good. I think I got a shot of everything, if you wanted to take some more. <sighs> you know, the way that, um, 
The way that Glenn was talking about Jane, I thought that I would be videotaping my little brother's wedding. Not his funeral. It shouldn't have happened. Just none of this seems real. Quite the bash, Pete. Could have done with a few more girls, though. Was it a nice funeral? A lot of people? Everybody was there. Even Ronnie. Well, he just came for the free food. Jane, she cried. She was pretty upset. We all were. Look, Glenn, this wasn't a joke. This was real for all of us. Even me. Well, who decided to cremate me anyway? You know how easily I burn. Give me some air. What'd you shoot, Pete? Huh? Get anything good? Nothing. Didn't even take out of the closet. What are you doing? I want to see what's on that Pete and Nikki bedroom can. Give me that. Let's go. Pete, that's just, uh, it's a little disturbing. It's almost like it really happened or something. It did happen. This recording proves it. All right, not that I'm complaining or anything, but how is it that I'm alive here? I mean, I'm obviously dead there. At the end of our 28 days in the past, events must return to their original course. Nothing we can do in the past can change that. Not even dying. So it's like it all just gets erased. Like it never happened in the first place. Yet there it is. We remember it. The camera records it. Reset. Time is reset. I didn't see your application for uh, floor supervisor, Glenn. What happened this time? Yeah, sorry. I, I started filling it out and I just guess I forgot. Missed the deadline, you know? Something always seems to come up. You know, it's time for you to set your priorities, decide what's important for you, and go for it. Quit drifting through life. I meet my sales quotas. What do you want? Yeah, you can move the product, but is that all you want to do with the rest of your life? I'm not a young man anymore. I have to think about the future of discount dance. I need somebody who can work side by side with me for the next couple of years before I retire. But that person has to be focused, and ambitious. You know this business better than anybody else. Catch my meaning? Yeah, I think so. I'm really looking forward to our vacation. I hope so. You've been saving it for what? Two years now? 
It'll be worth every penny, though. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to see Paris. The travel DVD made it seem pretty interesting. Yeah. I just hope we'll have some extra money in the vacation fund to take in the wine country. If I had the money, I'd take you to all the places you wanted to see. All of them. I don't think you're coming with us. None of these hotels allow dogs. Don't do it, Pete. You know you can't change the past. So we gonna go play pool later? I wanna break in my new cue. You know, Nikki's really getting good at... Oh, you all right? Oh, <coughs> I think I just traveled back. What? Are, are you sure? I didn't feel anything. Are you gonna puke? No, I'm feeling better now. But I definitely traveled back. I mean, all the symptoms are there. How about you? Nothing, I'm fine. You must have gone back by yourself. Why would you do that? I don't remember. I'll just have to wait and see. Did something happen to me? I don't remember. We'll just have to wait and see, Glenn. I'll have to wait till I get my memory back. Growing like crazy. Those bluebells didn't fare so well, though. They died pretty early this year. you miss her. But you can't do this. It's not right. It's just this one time. I want to give Nikki the vacation she was looking forward to. You can't live in the past, Pete. That 
Après vous, mon chéri. Oh, merci, monsieur. All right, you two. Save Lemour for la hotel room. You've been going back, haven't you? A couple of times. Don't lie to me, Pete. It's more than a couple of times. What's it to you? What's it to me? My best friend is killing himself. That's what it is to me, Pete. You know what that machine is doing to you. And all of a sudden you're better than me? I told you it's only been a couple times. Yeah, well, it looks like it's been a couple hundred times to me, Pete. Have you seen yourself? Looked in a mirror lately? So how's this gonna end, huh? 28 days after Nikki's death? I won't have any point in going back. Be fine. Yeah, you're gonna be just fine. I just don't think Pete should be all alone in that house. He's just trying to sort things out for himself, okay? He just needs some time. Yeah, you're probably right. Probably right. Hey, Eddie, have you seen Pete yet today? Nope. Well, uh... Hey, you should get back on the floor, eh? Dan's on the warpath. Oh, all right. Pete's not here, man. Cut it early yesterday. Didn't even bother coming in at all today. Didn't even call. It's weird. It's not like him. <laughs> Seems like it is lately. Thanks, anyway. How many times have you gone back? Since I last saw you. 250, 260. It's hard to keep count, but it's all there in the log. 250 trips? Oh, it's easy when each trip only takes three minutes. Three minutes of your time. It's almost a month to me. Pete? Look at yourself. At this rate, you'll be dead by tomorrow. I didn't just grow old, Glenn. I've lived the past month over and over and over again. Every trip is a new adventure. Hang gliding in Greece, bungee jumping in Australia. I've learned how to play the guitar. Nikki really loves that. Oh, well, she does. Does she? I just wanted to see her again. And hold her close. It was supposed to be just the one time. Come on, we should... We should clean you up first. Why? What's the point? Glenn, you know how it works. I become who I was 28 days ago. 
With that machine, I can live in the past. But it's not the past you remember. Every trip, I make sure that Nikki's out of danger, and then we live our lives the way they might have been. How do you prevent the crash? I just make sure Nikki's not at the intersection at 514, so the drunk can't kill her. Sometimes trips don't go as planned. Arrivals are so unpredictable. <laughs> This one time I spent 28 days in the burn unit. Nikki sat beside me the whole time. It was nice. You know something cool, Glenn? I could spend my entire bank account in 28 days, drain it to the last cent, and on the next trip, all the money's back in the account ready for Nikki and me to enjoy on our next adventure. Each reset washes that existence away. Every trip is a new existence for another 28 days. I'm the only one who remembers. Endless vacation. Sounds awesome. It is. It's the ordinary moments that mean the most. Sunday mornings at home, walks in the park, Those first few moments are the best. Before I get my memory back, I think he's alive. Really alive. And then I remember I'm living in the past. I was so sure there was gold up there. Remember I found that book? It said there was gold up there. Remember you got so sick? You were in bed for a week after we got back. Nikki was so mad at me. I can blame her. Right before the wedding and all. <laughs> you and your schemes. She still won't let me forget that one. It was a good time though. Yeah. I better get back to it. So long, my friend. Pete. Give my best to Nikki. Nikki's car gets slammed into by a drunk driver at 514. Nikki gets killed. This is my last chance. Nikki's death is 28 days into the past. If I miss her now, I'll never see her again.
You're scaring me, Peter. What's going on? I thought I lost you. What do you mean? I'm right here. I'm right here. I was just thinking about you.
laugh with me about anything your smile changes everything for me turn off the phone let the doorbell chime not loving you would be a crime to me you're looking like an angel should i love you more than i thought i could you know another place and another time we'll stop the world and take this time for now That I'm so 